destination, Tanzania. Right, today we're in the savanna, that vast stretch of grassy land where only a very few trees grow. Here you meet immense herds of herbivores migrating from one pasture area to another, always in search of water. And if the topi, like all herbivores, move in large groups, it's not to be in a parade. It's because you can't take chances with security, especially when some of the females are about to give birth. In the savanna, as it happens, you do run into certain individuals who would rather have a good topi steak than a mouthful of grass. Giving birth right in front of a lion, well, it's a little bit like playing tennis at the edge of a cliff. A risky business at best. The thing is, our mom-to-be hasn't much choice, so she tries to, well, speed it up as best she can. Ouch! With no hard hat, a fall like that could knock the little one out. Naturally, this would be the exact moment when a terrifying predator would leap on our defenseless little guy. Well, go ahead. What's our terrifying predator waiting for? Is she a stuffed toy or what? Ah, that's it. The lion's got plenty of provisions on hand. <laughs> it's a good thing. It'll give our newborn tuppy a chance to get on his feet and begin his education. For a start, he has to get the idea of how these, uh, well, stilts called legs work. It's not so easy. Once the little topi gets the general idea, he wants only one thing, a nice drink of milk to celebrate. Now, if he can just find the milk dispenser. Uh-oh, nobody's happened to notice that a short distance away, well hidden in the grass, another predator hasn't missed one second of this show. Our topi haven't noticed anything. Too busy with licks and caresses. Topi, like most herbivores in the savanna, have only their horns and fleet legs for protection. Since for now our little topi is bald, he'll have to learn to use his legs. There's one here who is ready to race him anytime. At last, our young mom spots the enemy. The trouble is, with a newborn, there isn't much she can do. She'll have to rely on good old Toppy security service. Males easily recognized by their impressive horns just waiting. And it works. When you're not all that hungry, better not to risk a Toppy horn in the bottom. Our little one and his mom can trot away. And or, or get back to the herd under the benevolent gaze of the bodyguards. At this first meeting, he walks tall. He doesn't look at the others. He's a big boy now. 